Hello, this is Dika from Dika's Adventures. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about ethical shots on deer while bow hunting. It's a tough subject. You know, there's a lot of strong opinion, opinions about it, including myself. And what I'm going to talk about is different sections of the deer, whether I think it's ethical to shoot them there, and shooting, specifically shooting at different organs or parts of the body. So, by definition, or I'm, I'm going to use my definition of what I think an ethical shot is. Uh, but before I get started, if you would subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and comment. I love comments. I want more comments, especially on this subject. I, th I think a lot of comments are going to roll in where people may disagree with me, and that's where I really learn. I really learn from other people's opinions and um, letting me know how they feel. Okay? So my definition of what an ethical shot is. An ethical shot is an accurate shot. A shot where it hits vital organs causing hemorrhage under high pressure vessels causing the animal, in this case being a deer, to bleed out quickly and die. The most humane way, I guess you could say. We, we want this animal to die quickly. We don't want it to suffer and um, sort of um, run off or be wounded or you never find them or arrows sticking out of them and all these other scenarios that unfortunately they happen. They happen to everybody. They've happened to me. They happen to me less now that I, I think I'm better. I think I have better equipment and I think I'm seasoned a little bit to know maybe when to hold off or when to take the shot or when to not to take the shot. I think there's a lot of people that just let the arrow fly. I used to have a saying that, you know, when a deer comes by, I'm taking the shot. I want to find a vital way to take a shot. And I think the more honest thing to say is I'm taking the most lethal shot. I think that is. You know, the, the, uh, last year I passed on a couple deer, and uh, there's, you know, th there's reason for it. So another thing that comes into an ethical shot is distance and angle. I think that there are... I think inside of 40 yards with, with a bow set up, um, I've never really shot past 35, and a 30-yard shot in the woods is, unless you're on an open field, it's a long shot, and you lose a lot of kinetic energy uh, coming from, uh, from your arrow. So what I did is I wrote down different sections of the animal and what type of shots um, we can sort of present from there. Now, some of them are a little outside the box, but I, th I think they're worth mentioning. So first off, as far as an ethical shot, where do you want to hit the deer? You want to hit the deer on the front side of the deer, the, the front section from what the, the leg to maybe to where like the, the, the ribs start to I don't know, taper up or taper down, so to speak. That's where the liver is. The liver is also a, a deadly shot, but it, depending on your opinion, um, it, it, um, I don't think it's the most ethical shot because it takes a long time for it to die. Ultimately, we want to hit the lungs, or we want to, take, we want to hit the heart, or we want to hit both. We want to double lung them, and we want to hit the heart and the lungs and all those vessels in there that are very vascular and bleed a lot. Um, I think there's two other areas that can be used in, in um, junction with the heart and the lungs, and maybe on their own if it's the right archer using the right equipment in the right tree stand using the right angle. So I think it's the aorta, which is a oxygen carrying vessel that runs from the heart and it runs along the deer's spine all the way down to um, almost, almost, its, almost its ass end. And then is the carotid artery, which runs up through its neck next to its esophagus. Um, so what do we think is the most ethical shot? I think it's the heart. I, I, I think the heart Although it, it's a, maybe a lower percentage shot than the lungs, because the lungs, they, where they say it's about the size of a pie plate, you can hit the lungs because they're bigger and you have a better chance of hitting the lungs. But I think the most ethical shot, um, not, we're not counting percentages, is the heart. I think the heart is the most eth ethical shot because that, that deer is going to die quickly. So, and the, it's probably about the size of my fist, to heart. So how... how what angles can you take a heart shot at? Obviously, you can take a broadside shot. 
that's going to go in the heart. It might even clip the lungs, so be it. And that deer is not going to run very far, and it's going to bleed. Although heart shots, a lot of times, they don't have a lot of blood. But the deer, you, you can usually find the deer inside of 20 yards. Now there's a quartering away shot. You can, you can shoot at the heart. A lot of times it's a lung and a heart shot, the quartering away. I think that quartering away shot is, it kind of grabs the arrow because you just there's, there's so much of the deer's body that you're looking at. Um, obviously you have to aim a little further back on the body, but it, 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 you can certainly aim for the heart and hit the heart on a quartering away shot. The arrow is usually gonna come out um, underneath, depending on your angle, or it's going to um, sometimes get stuck on the, the opposite shoulder or um, go through it. All right. Now, quartering two. Do you take a quartering two hot shot? Most people don't. Most people would think it's an unethical shot or a undoable shot. I disagree. I think I, I think there's archers out there that are confident in their equipment and. I think that they can hit the shot, as long as it's not a real extreme angle where it's almost like straight at you. If, it, if, if, if it's quartering to you, I, th I think it's doable. You know, a lot of times you're going to hit those lungs too. Uh, but the good thing about a heart shot, if you aim on the higher side of it, you're going to hit lungs, and that's okay too. Then there's some other sort of controversial ones here. Now, this is a shot that I took one time, and... In my mind, when I was uh, I was a young hunter, it was, in my mind, I thought I, I just wanted to shoot the deer, and it, it, it worked out for me, and I, I think it works, and I think that I might do it again if, if, the, if it presented. So I was in a tree stand. I was about 15 feet up. The deer was right underneath me, and it was looking straight up at me. It came into my tree and looked straight up at me, and I shot it right here in the bottom half of the neck, sort of where the, where the legs meet, and it went straight down, uh, clipped the lungs probably on either side, through the heart, and right out its chest. And the deer just fell over right, right then and there. Now, is, the shot was ethical, and the aiming was easy. It was close. Yeah, I, I think that that was a high percentage shot to get vitals in that area it, long as I mean I was aiming at an area probably about this big it was I think the hardest part about that shot was I was shooting my bow straight down which is can be difficult if you don't practice it so you let me know if you think that's an ethical shot shooting straight down in the front of the neck straight through the deer now I don't th that deer didn't run at all it stopped dead in its tracks and it died within a minute so ethically, based on my own definition of, of ethics, um, it, it worked out. Now, will I do it again if it, if it presented the right way? You can't do that shot in the ground blind. You can't do that shot while sitting on the ground. You can't really do that shot in a, in a low, in a, in a low um, tree stand. I, th I think you've got to be upwards of 15 feet just to get that angle so, so it can really stretch its head. So... Also, um, then we move on to lung shots. So lung shots, broadside all day long, broadside. But it doesn't present all the time, right? So you broadside, you double lung them, and they don't go far, 20 yards maybe, and you usually get a lot of blood on those lung shots. Lung shots give you a lot of blood. Quartering away, quartering away is an easy lung shot also. You just aim a little bit further back, and you, you, you go from there, you know. You, you can't go wrong with a lung shot. Now quartering two. Do you take that shot? You know, there's, there's a lot of people that are against it. I think with the right archer and the right equipment, you can do it, you know? I think there's, I, I think you're, you're just aiming at less of the animal. But that doesn't mean that, that you can't do it and it's not an ethical shot. Um, we as archers, I mean, we, I mean, I practice a ton. You know, now, now just because I can put six arrows in a Dixie cup at 40 yards doesn't mean that, I can do it in the field. The animals move. This is a living, breathing animal. And when you go and aim, all you see is brown. You know, you, you, don't, you don't see landmarks or a, a red dot or a bullseye or any of that. So all that takes practice and years and um, kind of paying your dues. So I think the right archer with confidence in, her, in their equipment 
certainly can take that quartering to lung shot. I personally think it's harder than the heart shot, depending on the angle. You know, so let me know what you think. I, I want to know. So there's also a lung shot. Um, I think it's only possible from a tree stand. It's not po possible from being on the ground. And it only happens when the deer is walking away from you. And you, what you do is you shoot it, excuse me, you shoot it sort of next to the spine and you tuck it up underneath the scapula and you're going to get lungs. You might even get heart too. Um, you, you can do it when they're sort of at an angle. I think the only time it doesn't work is when they're straight on moving away from you because then, you, then you're only going to get one lung. But you can, you can tuck it up underneath there, and you're, you're probably aiming at a spot, probably about the size of a softball. Um, obviously, all this is, all these sort of out-of-the-box shots, I, I, think, I think they're inside of 20 yards. I, 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 don't think, I don't think they're ethical, and the percentage goes way, way down when, you're, when, they're, when they're further out like that. Um, I, I know people that take this shot all the time, and they consistently make it. Um, but I think it depends on the archer and depends on the equipment. All right, what do we got next? We have the aorta shot. Now, that's a tough one. You know, do you do you specifically aim at the aorta around the spine? Do you specifically spine a deer? I'm, I'm thinking no. I'm thinking you don't. But that vessel, if you hit that vessel that deer is going to bleed out very, very quickly and die. Um, and it, it, it's probably not going to run. It probably won't run as far as a double lung shot. A double lung shot, you might get 20 or 30 yards. You hit the aorta, it's not going to go far at all, but you're aiming at about an area about the size of a half dollar. Maybe you could take it if it was quartering away, you know, because you sort of have a, a larger or a longer target to hit. Um, it's a tough one, you know, and then there's the carotid. Do, do you aim at the neck? Do you aim at the neck specifically? Now, I'm going to say yes and no to this. I have shot deer in the neck, but not aiming at the carotid, going for the lungs. Um, it, it can only be done in a tree stand. It can't be done on the ground, and it's when it's quartering to you, and you're up in the tree stand, and it has to be that perfect angle, almost like, I'm going to say like 30 degrees maybe like 20 or 30 degrees and what you have to do is you have to shoot it in the side of the neck like right above where almost kind of where I hit it here but it has to be that angle where it's going to come down and it's going to clip the lungs it's going to clip the heart and uh, ultimately I, the deer that I shot like that um, it ran 10 feet you know neck shots are very effective if you can pull them off it's a lower percentage shot I think just aiming straight for the carotid, yeah, I, I don't think I could do it. But I know people who do it, and obviously people do it with guns. You know. um, but ultimately, the aorta and the next shot, and the, excuse me, the carotid shot, if you hit it, the deer is going to die very, very quickly. And I think it's an ethical sh shot for the right person. I don't know if I'm that person, but let me know if you are. Let me know if you've taken shots like that on purpose. We've all taken the shots by accident. You know, I, I hit a deer in the neck by accident. I hit a twig, hit the deer in the neck, and the, the, I ended up um, severing the, um, the trachea, hand hit the carotid, and the deer just fell over. But that wasn't on purpose. That was on an accident. So then the next part of this that I'm going to do before I go is um, I shoot a 650-grain arrow. Is it ethical for me to, so say I got a broadside shot, right? And that leg is forward and that shoulder, uh, excuse me, the leg is back, not forward. The leg is back and that shoulder is in the way. And I'm going to lose that shot. Do I wait or do I take that shot because my arrows can go through that shoulder no problem? You know, I shot a deer last year quartering away. Uh, it was inside of, I'm going to say it was 12 yards, 12 yards or so. It was quartering away. It was a long angle, too. I, I almost had, like, the ass end of the deer there. And I took a shot at the vitals, and I aimed back. And the deer's leg, right before I let go, like a second before I let go, its leg got stuck on some briars or something, and it moved its back leg forward. And I shot. My arrow went through the, 
the femur through both lungs, clipped the heart, and blew through the, the shoulder on the other side, inside of 12 yards. So I'm confident in my equipment that it can make it through those. But is it ethical? Just because I can do it, does, does that mean it's ethical? I, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. If, if you know that you can, your equipment, in, I'm going to go inside of 20 yards. Outside of that, I, I don't know if it's got the kinetic energy. I really don't. And I'm not going to try it either. All right? So let me know what you think. Like, subscribe to my channel, make comments. I want lots of comments. Uh, don't, don't beat me up too bad. Um, I'm tr just trying to uh, hit a subject that um, you know, a lot of us maybe don't talk about. All right? Be well, and uh, hunting season's coming up. I can't wait to see everyone out there. All right?